Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Copycat Ram. This is Ram and today I have brought another video for you. In this video, we will discuss in details about the display properties value that is inline, inline block and block. So without any further delay, let's begin. So what is display inline? Whenever you say display inline to an element, you will be not allowed to set height and width and that element is generally going to be treated like an text inside a body. So let's see an example. So inside the body here I am going to create and div and going to set it a class that will be called as display inline and inside the div here I am going to type some text so that we can check it on the browser. So here I am typing display inline and going to set this display inline class some properties inside the style.css so here i am going to say display inline so let's save and refresh so right now on the browser you can see the text display inline and in the elements and inside the inspector you can see the div element rendered and here is the class that I have said that is display inline. On the right side you can see the CSS properties still that I have added. So it have display inline. So let me try to add some height to it. So I am setting height 150 pixel with 200 pixel and background color to be red. Save refresh so right now you can see that the background color has been applied but if you check over here right if you check here height and width both are disabled and here is a message that is shown by the browser that say display inline property prevents width from having an effect try setting display to something other than inline that means you cannot set height and width to display inline element and another thing you need to notice over here with related to the margin and padding so let me set here margin of 50 pixel and the padding of 20 pixel you will notice a weird thing about this so let me refresh it as soon as i refresh you will notice that it got some some of the padding but the padding is only applied only to the three set that's left right and bottom but have ignored to the top and the same thing has been happened with the margin the margin has been applied to the left, right, bottom, but not applied to the top. So this is the weird thing about the display inline that it ignored margin top and padding top. Why is display inline block? Generally, when you say display inline block to an element, from that moment, you are allowed to set height and width. Even it's going to consider the margin top, padding top. So it is not going to restrict you to apply any other CSS properties to it. And the another thing about the display inline block is that it put all the inline block element in horizontal line. So let's see an example. So here I am first going to create a div again. And here I am going to set a class that will be called display inline block. And again, I inside the style.css, I am going to set some properties like display inline inline block. And again, as I told you that now you can set height. So here I am setting height of 150 pixel and width of 200 pixel and to see the changes that height and width accepted by the element or not here i am going to set background color of green so let's save and check so right now you can see the div here is the div element that has been rendered on the browser and here is the CSS properties that I have applied to it. So right now you can see that the height and width have been accepted by it. So whatever pixel you want, you can set to it. And another thing is that even if you try to set margin of 5 pixel or padding of 20 pixel, it's going to accept all this. So to understand this, let me put some content inside the div element so here i am going to set display inline block let's save and refresh so right now you can see that the padding has been applied the padding of 20 pixel has been applied as well as the margin is 
margin of 5 pixel is also applied in all the side. Inline block is not going to restrict you to use any other CSS properties like it was happening with the display inline. And the another thing about the display inline block that I was told you that if you use the multiple display inline block element, it's going to put them on the horizontal axis. So here now I have used the four inline block elements. So let's save and refresh. So right now you can see the all the four all the four element on the horizontal axis. What is display block? Display inline block, display block share the same features. The only difference between them is inline block is set horizontally whereas display block set every element to a new row. So let's see an example for that again I am going to create a div and going to set a class that will be called as display block and inside it here again I am going to set some text that will be display block and again I am going to set it a inside the style.css file so here i am going to set display block i'm going to set width of 150 pixel height 150 pixel and the background color to red so as i told you that display block share the same features as the display inline block so display block also is going to accept width height and margin and padding all the other stuff so let us save and see the example so as soon as i refresh then you will be able to see the block element so the block element have the height width and the background color everything has been accepted even though if you try to add margin it's going to accept this even though if you would going to add padding it's going to accept this so let me save and refresh Another thing is that that I told you that the main difference between display block and display inline block is that every time you create a new element with the display block is going to render the element to a new line or in a new row. So let us create multiple display block elements. So for that here I am going to paste it multiple time. So save and refresh. So right now you can see that each element has been created in a new row even though it have a many space on the right side. So this is the main difference between display inline block and block. Another thing about the display block is that even though if you do not set any width to the display block, it is going to occupy horizontally all the space of the viewport. So right now you can see that as I have removed the width, it have occupied the horizontal, the horizontally space of the viewport. Hope I was able to explain you the differences between different value of the display properties. If you really like the video, do not forget to like the video, subscribe the channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you.